Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm back with a short little update. Just going to show a few things I picked up, a few CDs, a few pieces of vinyl. Go from there. Um, I just got off work a little bit ago, worked all weekend long. Uh, you know, have to do that every now and then. Uh, I also have a sick child, so that means I don't have to go to work tomorrow because i got to stay home with him. So, uh, so, what better time to make a video then? So, uh, Went and picked me up a uh, caramel frappuccino. <sighs> One of my favorites. Um, anyway, uh, let me show you kind of what I picked up recently. Uh, we'll start with the CDs. Um, as everybody knows, I'm a huge him fan. Love him. Uh, they're reissuing their stuff on vinyl and on CD. They're double CDs or whatever. Um, I haven't picked up the vinyl. I don't know. I don't even know if it's released yet. I think it comes out in February, actually. But some of the CDs evidently are released because I was at Hastings the other day. Came across three of them. And so I picked them up and they're dusty already. Um, they come in this, this is a limited edition. It comes in like this velvety case. And when you get all four CDs, I guess it ends up being, you'll see it ends up making a uh, hardogram. But anyway, what I did pick up was uh, Deep Shadows and Brilliant, Brilliant Highlights. Which, for me, this is probably one of my favorite Him albums. Um, it's a double CD. It's got some live tracks, some bonus stuff. So, uh, anyway, like I said, this is probably one of my favorites. And I definitely will pick this up on vinyl. Uh, be one of the first ones I pick up. Got that one. They only had these three, so that's one reason I bought these three. So, uh, next one. This is Love Metal. Another great one. In fact, I'll be honest. Um... I like all their CDs, um, to a point. Um, probably, um, Screamworks wasn't necessarily, it was eh, and some of the other ones around the air weren't so good, but I, honestly, the first four CDs, every song is good. I highly recommend them. Highly recommend Love Metal and uh, Deep Shadows. Both of them are really good. Only thing I was a little disappointed at, every one of these CDs that I bought, um, they only had these three that wouldn't need to choose from, but I guess through shipping them, when you open them up, there's a, um, the CD has one of those flip things, and every single one of them is broke. Yeah, kind of sucks, but what do you do? And the third one that I got, which probably, uh, was actually the first record, and this one is Greatest Love Songs, Volume 666. It's got a pretty cool, uh, cover of Blue Oyster Cults, uh, Don't Fear the Reaper on here. So, and also Chris Isaac's Wiki Game is on here. So, uh, very cool. So, I'll be looking out for the rest of them that they're reissuing so I can have the complete hardogram thing. So, uh, the other CD I picked up, which I did a quick little review of the other day, I'll show again for people who didn't watch that review, I guess. The new Marilyn Manson. Um, this is a Pell Emperor. I don't know why I can't remember that title. Uh, this is the limited edition. It's kind of on. Hear that? Kind of like on sandpaper. Sandpaper top cover here it opens up, and it's cool because the CD is black and uh, the other side is black also. So it's kind of cool. Um, I highly recommend this, um, especially if you're a Manson fan. Definitely by far one of the, uh, the best records he's done in a while. Um, excellent. I've actually listened to it, I guess, twice I went through just because I hadn't had time to listen to it anymore, but very, very good. Uh, Steve here in the VC, uh, Harmless Rebel, I believe, did a great review um, of the record. So go over to his channel, check it out, because um, he did a better job than I could have done because I'm not a good reviewer. I just like, you know, for me, it's either I like it or I don't. And like I said, this one I loved. Excellent album. I also picked up the uh, Limited Edition vinyl. And it's uh, it's clear. Uh, it's a two LP set. All right, now to the goodies. So this year, one of the first things I want to do is complete my uh, Deftones collection. Um, Deftones, some of the original stuff goes pretty expensive. If you can find it. Uh, I wasn't gonna pay. I'm not gonna pay. I don't pay crazy money for for records. Um, excuse me. Um, I don't usually pay too crazy prices for records. Um, and for me, I like originals, but if the reissue sounds good, I don't care. So, uh, I got some gift cards for Amazon for Christmas, and so I was like, well, let's see what they have. 
and I was thumbing through stuff and I actually found that Deftones had reissued some stuff. So I picked up uh, their second album, Around the Fur, which is a great record. Uh, My Own Summer, Shove It. I think that's uh, probably the biggest hit off this record. And these re reissues are actually really nice. Uh, come on, 180 gram black vinyl. Um, this one did anyway. And uh, then they each include a little sheet with some pictures, lyrics, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they were all around nineteen twenty dollars these reissues. So uh, honestly, for the money, I think that they um, this is this is great. I mean, twenty bucks, you get the vinyl, you get the nice little insert, and hundred and eighty gram record inside. So uh, very impressed with these reissues. So uh, if you're wondering wondering if you should pick them up or not, so far I would say yes. Um, I actually haven't listened to this one yet, but I have listened to a couple other ones that do sound really good. So pick that one up. Super excited to find this one. This is their first. Record Adrenaline, uh, excellent record. Every song here I like. Not one song I don't like. Um, and this one's also the reissue. Same same thing. Um, the 180 gram vinyl little picture insert thing with some lyrics and stuff. Uh, so I was at Hastings the other day and I've noticed that they had these for a while and just haven't picked them up yet. They had two other the reissues or two other. Um, uh, Deftones records, and so I got Koi no Yokan. I guess how you say it. Another good one. This one sounds great. I've been spinning this in quite a bit, actually. I uh, love the song uh, Poltergeist. I don't know why. Poltergeist, that's an awesome song. Really dig it. Picked up that one. And also got Dominize. Which I was talking to AJ the other day. We were talking about that. And he uh, said something about Hastings may have its white vinyl. And I was like, ah, I think it's black. Actually, it is limited edition white. As you can see here. Uh, this is the only one I have that's colored so far. And kind of the same same deal. Actually, this one came with a nice... It was nice... Uh, what was it poly sleeve or whatever you call them? Really nice sleeve, actually, on this one. And again with the the little sheet, got some lyrics, info, that kind of stuff on it. And honestly, until I picked this up, I hadn't heard it. Heard this particular Deftones album, and I really dig it. In fact, I dig it, dug it so much that the Hastings had their CD, the new CD, on sale for five dollars. So I picked it up also. So uh, anyway, real excited to get those. Um, like I say, excited about the hymn stuff. Um, I think that's all I had to show right now. Just want to kind of knock this video out because I'm trying to stay up to date on uh, showing as I'm picking up stuff because last year I was not very good at that. So uh, anyway, I'm trying to be more, a little more consistent in my videos. Um, I will probably... Uh, I don't think I have anything else coming in the mail right now. I don't remember. But if I do, I'll show that. And uh, I will probably go... Definitely ordering some stuff, if not digging, uh, coming up in a couple of weeks because my birthday will be here and, uh, in February. And so I uh, usually go dig and pick up some records then. So uh, anyway, everybody enjoy the rest of their Sunday evening. Uh, have a great week. Um, that's it. And uh, talk to you guys later. Ah.